Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Fabrication Basics video. Uh, just a reminder, I'm making these Fabrication Basics series just for, you know, the beginners out there that are just starting to do fabrication and welding work. Um, although this video is not specifically for, you know, is contains fabrication content, it's, a, it's related because uh, one of the things that you have to be prepared to do when you're when you start buying, you know, welders and machines and so forth, is to be able to diagnose and repair your own wiring. Um, and a simple thing that can often happen when you uh, buy a welder or buy a, a large machine like this is you have to put a new end on the cord. Um, some machines don't come with it. Some don't come with a cord. Some, you know, especially if you buy it used, maybe they, you know, like in this case, I bought this from a guy that had a lot of machines and he had cut the, the, the ends off of all of them because they're kind of expensive. They're about 20 bucks or so, 15 or 20 bucks to get an end to go on one of these. Uh, so, um, and for the longest time, I was kind of afraid to mess with any of this kind of stuff too, but it's one of the easiest things that you can do. So um, I needed to put a new cord on this machine, which I got a while back. Um, so I thought I'd just make a quick video, um, kind of walking you through the steps and you'll see how easy it is. Okay, so let's get going now. Okay, for this project, you're gonna need three simple tools. First, you're gonna need a number two Phillips screwdriver, some kind of wire strippers, and a 50 amp, 220 volt cord end. All right, this is the common type of uh, plug used on a 220 volt single phase machine. Uh, welders, uh, most of those kind of machines have a plug like this. Uh, with the one big prong and the one small one and the ground okay so here's our line coming in off of the milling machine and the first thing you want to do is kind of get your green wire is going to be your uh, your ground wire and it's the, the highest one up there so you want to take a measurement to kind of see what it would take to get the green wire in and looped in and wired in and so um, you can see I scored a line just above that so that the uh, you know the rubber coating on the hose gets up inside there so we'll just I've all I've done is scored it around there you can see it's not cut all the way through I'm just gonna give it a twist and that should loosen it up all right so this is probably some pretty old wiring on this machine but as you see we have a green black and white wire sort of a pinkish colored wire and this sheathing stuff here we'll get rid of that just to get it out of the way so you'll you'll see you know L1 L2 referred to you know line 1 line 2 in a 220 single phase um, all right, so we want to just strip a little bit of the end of the green because it's going to go in first. All right, and it's got a coating on it as well. We'll get rid of that. Definitely tell this is old wiring. All right, these, these prongs will come out, make it a little bit easier to get it get everything in there so you want to slip it back behind this coupling and screw it in okay so I'm going to go ahead and take these out all the way out take the clamp out now that we're done with it all right, so we got that out of there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this inserted in. Okay, get a look at that. We wanna get a measurement on, uh, on our black and white wire. You can see where that needs to be cut, about right there. And the other side will be the same. We'll just strip those back. All right, 
right, that should work out pretty good right there. So we'll pull these out. A little easier to work with. When you have it pulled out like this. Okay, so this one's gonna slip in the same way as the other one. Put the screw back in. You're not really supposed to take the screws all the way out. I'm not sure why I did that, but you get the idea. And the black and the white, it, it, in single phase, it doesn't matter which one's which. It doesn't uh, affect the rotation of the motor or anything like that. All right, give that a pretty good tight uh, cinch down. And we're just going to put the other one on the other side. All right, got those tightened up. Okay, so we'll just drop them in. And see that one's a little bit, there we go. All right, we'll uh, put the uh, clamp back in, screw that in. All right. Well, that's all there is to it, really. You see it's all wired in. We'll just put the back on it. Let's drop in there like that. Get it started. All right, well, we're all finished up there. We'll uh, get this plugged in and uh, make sure it works. And uh, that'll be it. All right, we'll make our connection here. Make sure this goes in okay. All right, that fits like it should. All right, we'll test the uh, power. Make sure we got it wired correctly. All right, well, you see we got it all wired in and uh, simple, quick and easy on how to wire up a 220.